18th hole was everybody knows we're celebrating 50 years of golf here in the Quad Cities. Corey and I are lucky we've been here for a fair share of ours. Yeah, this is my 20th actually here out at the, the Golf Classic at the John Deere Classic and my 11th right here on the 19th hole. You put up with me for 11, 11 years. years. That's yeah. not too bad. I started as an intern 20 years ago under Dan Burrich and WQ interns do pretty good. I started as a WQAD intern in 71. <laughs> wow. Okay. This, of course, is Tom Cornelis, a very familiar face here in the Quad Cities. He needs no introduction, and for a half century, TC has been part of golf right here in the QC. For a PGA Tour event to survive a half a century in the same community, it takes precision and detail from everyone involved. Kind of feel like I grew with it. No one knows that more than Tom Cornelis, who's taking part in his 50th JDC in some way, shape, or form. But TC wasn't always the Tom Cornelis. I just uh, got on with uh, Channel 8 as an intern. My first job, Art Swift, the general manager who was also running the tournament, said, uh, why don't you go help out in the media room at Crow Valley? The tournament quickly grew up after the move to Oakwood, and so too did Cornelis. And the JC stepped up and you know brought in Ed McMahon and the Oakwood got on board and guys were signing notes to keep it afloat and uh, and the community seemed to rally behind that. It was that momentum and a leap of faith at WQAD that brought some vintage coverage of the classic. We weren't sure uh, if a half hour show for this tournament would work. Fuzzy Zeller came on after he uh, had the eight birdies in a row. Of course, Gary McCord came on more times than we wanted him to. Big names both on and off the course flocked to the Quad Cities. I'm out of the commercial, I'm all tied up, and there's McCord and Bill Calfee was the other guy. I'm taking Tom, Tom Cornelis hostage. Rifles, bandolero bullets across their, you know, <laughs> giving a list of demands, some of which were, were not proper, but some of which came true today. The demand is we want a private airplane we put right here at the Quad Cities Airport tonight so Bill and I can take off to the British Open. And TC was there two years. Uh, I still have sentiment for Payne Stewart when he won. Uh, we got, he came on the show, sent me a pair of his knickers, you know, which I still have. I don't fit in them as well as I used to. TC is now retired from TV, but as a course advisor at Deer Run, he's still part of the JDC. That would keep me involved with the tournament and we, you know, we get to do glorious jobs like here, pick golf balls off the range and sort them out. And but you're still involved with the tournament, and uh, you get to see the guys play. And that old video is awesome to see, Tom. I got to ask you a question because we've been doing this for 40 years combined. You're 50. Right. How? What advice? Give us the, that that advice we need to survive as as long as you. Well, by the way, I should say happy anniversary to all of us. Yes. 45th anniversary. We've had this show has been on this station. Wow. The highlight Very show. Cool. Humble beginnings and. Uh, 1976 with me and Ed McMahon. <laughs> and now it's me and Corey, but it's fun down here. You guys are two top bananas right the, the there. The advice. Give, me, give us some advice, old, old wise one. Pace yourself. I always tell Corey. <laughs> yeah, pace pace yourself. yourself, plenty of fluids. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that you miss from this side of doing it, this, this tournament? I miss covering the tournament because, you know, the, like, what a leaderboard today, you know. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait till tomorrow. Well, we're watching you guys trudge up the hills with your cameras <laughs> and tripods. And, you know, how many miles did we cover during the yeah. year from, uh, you know, back to Crow Valley, right. yeah. then to Oakwood, and now uh, here at Deer Run. Uh, I don't miss that part of it.